I was born on time, the right weight for my family. Um, everything looked good. My mother had an easy, uneventful pregnancy. She did things that she did with all four of us. She smoked cigarettes, not a lot, drank a little, had her coffee, took aspirin, all those things that you weren't supposed to, you're now not supposed to do. I think if sushi had been around then, she would have eaten that too. Um, but within a first couple of weeks, she noticed I was not gaining weight. I was irritable. Um, I, I was, I would turn blue. I would hold my breath and just turn blue. And it, that's very scary, like blue, blue. So the doctor told her to run over to the sink and put my feet under the cold water to sort of jump start me again. Okay. And after a couple of months of this and some research, um, we ended up at New York Hospital. This was in 1961. And um, there was a cardiologist there who was my cardiologist till I was 32. Her name was Mary Allen Engel. She managed to discover that I had various heart malformations. Um, the best our pediatrician could do before that was call it failure to thrive. That was a catch-all of this one's a little bit little. Mm -hmm. But with diagnostics they did cardiac catheterizations. They don't do those that much anymore. It's an invasive procedure where they inject dye to sort of map out what's happening inside the heart and the arteries. I had a I was in the hospital for my first birthday. I never, re I never knew that till I was an adult. Um, and they did all these tests on me and then sort of had to monitor me and wait. The diagnosis turned out to be a multiplicity of heart defects, five of them. There is a term now in current cardiological care called tetralogy of Fallot which is actually three defects. Overachiever that I am, I had five. 